now we shall study what are modal auxiliaries modal auxiliaries tell us if the main verbs show ability permission possibility obligation prohibition etc ability means to be able to do something permission means to grant permission or to uh, allow possibility means if a situation or a thing is possible whether it can be done or no obligation means it is your right that you are obliged to or you are bound to help that person that is called obligation prohibition means you are denied something that is called prohibit or prohibition now let read the following table and try and understand what the modal verbs each express modal verb can expresses ability or potential ability in the present possibility permission which is informal for examples he can swim well so it is a possibility that he swims well this can happen anywhere now it is possible that this situation can happen anywhere can i sit with you here the modal auxiliary can is giving permission in an informal way ram can bake a cake that means ram has the ability to bake a cake therefore we use the modal auxiliary can over here can you break this door now here also do you have the ability to break the door that means the modal auxiliary can is projecting ability next the doctor said you can play hockey again here the word can is being used to give permission by whom by the doctor to the patient so these are few examples of modal auxiliaries can next is could could means it is used in the past tense of can could is the past tense of can in indirect speech it is used to indicate some ability which has been done in the past could is also used for requests which are polite and to suggest a weak possibility a weak possibility in the future so she could climb trees when she was young that means she was able to climb trees when she was young in the past next he could leave on sunday so it is a weak possibility that he could leave on sunday could you tell me the way to the nearest hotel please your could is being used as a polite way of asking permission or asking the way to the nearest hotel now next is may the modal auxiliary may now it is used to express wish permission possibility or a polite offer now may is usually used when we ask for permission formally a formal way of asking for permission may i use your telephone i am formally asking you may i use your telephone next it is also used to express a wish or to indicate a strong possibility now it may rain today there is a strong possibility that it may rain today may i help you i am offering to help you politely by using the modal auxiliary may over here now there may be a road block today so there is a strong possibility that there might be a road block today next where do we use the modal auxiliary might now might is used as the past equivalent of may like could is used as the past equivalent of can similarly might is used as the past equivalent of may now might means it expresses a weak possibility for example they might leave the village next year now next year is a long time so this is a much lesser possibility than the modal auxiliary may now it is also used for giving a, a permission in the past he asked if he might take my book now might is also used to express a degree of dissatisfaction of about something now when a teacher says you might pay a little more attention during the class that means she is not satisfied with you and she wants you to pay little more attention in class so she uses the modal auxiliary might so these are all examples of modal auxiliary might 
next we come over to the modal auxiliary will now will students is used in the second and third person to express simple future tense so it is used in the second and third person it is used in the second and third person to express simple future time i will go to my hometown next week you will be glad to know my result that means you still don't know my result you have still not gone to your uh, hometown i will definitely help you if in need these are all future possibilities now will also expresses intention predication and promise next we come over to modal auxiliary shall now shall is for intention in the future or suggestion which is friendly in nature now students shall is used to also indicate a promise you shall get a new mobile on your birthday that means i am promising you that definitely you will get a new mobile on your birthday now would is used as a polite request or as a polite question it is used to make polite requests offers and also to ask questions politely would you stay here with me would you like to have some coffee these are all polite requests using the modal auxiliary would next where do we use the modal auxiliary should should is used to ask for some suggestion or to give some advice or to ask for some advice now you should trim your nails regularly this is an advice it is a good advice in the positive sense you should take care of your parents it means it is an obligation you are obliged it is your duty to take care of your parents next where do we use the modal auxiliary must now must is a strong obligation or a necessity and a certainty or a logical conclusion moral uh, strong obligation in the sense you must follow the traffic rules traffic rules are something which have to be followed it is a necessary rule it is a strong obligation on the part of your being a citizen of the country you are obliged to follow the traffic rules therefore must it is a strong obligation there must be some problem that means there we are certain the and we have come to the logical co conclusion that there must be some problem that is where we use the modal auxiliary must in which cases to express a strong obligation or to exp express a certainty or a logical conclusion next students there is another modal auxiliary which is called ought to now where do we use ought to ought to is used to express moral obligation or desirability that means you ought to put in your best efforts we ought to look after our elders now try out 3 fill in the blanks with suitable modal auxiliaries the sky is dark it dash rain this afternoon may or should now students we know may is used when we are indicating a strong possibility or we are expressing a wish or a strong possibility and where is should used should is used to ask for a suggestion but here we are predicting some possibility therefore we will use may next the chief guest dash arrive in 5 minutes from now the chief guest might or will the chief guest will arrive in 5 minutes from now because we know that it is definitely he is going to arrive within 5 minutes in the future the chief guest will arrive in 5 minutes from now now students dash keep their classrooms neat and clean students must keep their classrooms neat and clean now students what did i say when do we use must when it is a necessity or a strong obligation on the part of a particular person it is a strong obligation when we use must therefore your classroom has to be kept neat and clean so we will use the modal auxiliary must and not shall why because shall is used to indicate a promise but must is used to indicate a definite obligation next you dash be ashamed of your behavior could or should now where do we use could and where do we use should should is used 
when we should definitely do something it is used in all persons to express your duty or obligation so you should be ashamed of your behavior is the correct answer now i dash speak english fluently i can i can speak english fluently why can because can is used to express potential or ability so here i am able or i have the potential to speak english fluently therefore i will use the modal auxiliary can number 6 dash i carry your luggage may or will now here it will be may because i am seeking permission from you may i carry your luggage in a polite manner therefore i will use the modal auxiliary may and not will because will is used in the second and third person to express simple future time next you dash apologize to her apologize means to say sorry so you dash apologize to her you ought to or would you ought to that means it is your moral obligation to apologize to her therefore modal auxiliary ought to number 8 dash you live long may you live long now where do we use may when we are wishing we are expressing a wish that in the future may you live long next Ninth, we dash save water. We should save water. Why should? Because it is expressing your duty or obligation to save water. Therefore, we must. Next, number ten. He dash carry heavy bags when he was young. He could carry. In a, it is a thing in the past. Therefore, the past of can is could. So he could carry heavy bags when he was young. Eleven. i know that i dash succeed in life i will now will is used when when it is used in the second and third person to express simple future tense so simple future time is expressed by the modal auxiliary will next the doctor said you dash go to school now you can go to school now that means he is giving you your uh, permission the permission to go to school therefore you will use you can next correct the underlined words you might respect your elders might becomes must you must respect your elders i heard heard some strange noises there is no word as heard i heard some strange noises h e a r d heard he hanged wet clothes on hangers he hung H U N G hung wet clothes on hangers. How did you make made such a yummy cake? It is not made. It is how did you make such a yummy cake? Number five. She can climb trees when she was young. She could climb trees when she was young. Would you prosper? No. May you prosper? We ought to pay our taxes. We ought to. pay our taxes they will watch the match they will watch the match mrs shazia teached us english mrs shazia taught us english t a u g h t taught us english he will waits for me no he will wait for me now students we come to the end of this chapter 8 your verbs i hope you have understood what are verbs and you have understood what are modal auxiliaries what are primary auxiliaries what are the regular verbs what are irregular verbs what are main verbs if you have any doubts let me know i will definitely make a another video to explain more in detail about this now students if you like my channel please like share and subscribe to it and keep the notification button on so that when i post a new video you get notified about it and can watch it kindly subscribe children thank you